The European Parliament has approved the first artificial intelligence law in the world by overwhelming majority. The text sets a risk-based approach that goes from marking when images have been generated by AI to completely banning some uses. Some of those are systems that use ethnical, religious or facial traits to identify people or the recognition of emotions. We prohibit the emotional recognition of workers and students. There will be not, no possibility for an employer to uh, look for the emotions of the employee, uh, which is something that we think is not um, acceptable in, uh, in Europe. But some of those bans will have exceptions if used by security forces. This was the biggest disagreement between Parliament, who aimed for a complete prohibition, and the member states wanting an exemption to use those systems in the case of a terrorist attack or human trafficking. We've introduced judicial redress and, and judicial authorization as a mandatory step in uh, allowing for this use of technology. We've limited the scope uh, of, of use uh, to a very uh, strict uh, set of, of crimes, the most serious crimes, to make sure that, again, law enforcement would not be tempted to uh, deploy this technology in public spaces all the time. But some MEPs think the law legitimizes the misuse of AI technology. No terrorist has been found using real-time uh, mass uh, surveillance, but it has a very chilling effect. It uh, discriminates against uh, minorities because these are um, oftentimes wrongly reported. After a formal approval by member states, the law will be published around May. In November, bans will enter into force and by 2027, the AI Act will be fully functioning.